This is Shelley Taylor reporting for RSNA News. I'm here at RSNA headquarters with Dr. Katherine Andriel, who is a co-leader of the RSNA Deep Learning Classroom. Dr. Andriel, how has this year's Deep Learning Classroom expanded since last year? So it's a little different this year, and I'd like to also mention my uh, co-directors of the Deep Learning Classroom, Drs. Brad Erickson and George Shi. Our, uh, Brad has done it over a number of years. This year, we're doing it a little differently. We're going to use uh, CoLab, which is a, a Google um, pro platform, to be able to do machine learning, where um, we really want people to understand the concepts and how you do this and not focus as much on the technology piece uh, such as the GPUs that might be used or focus as much on the programming, although if you have programming experience that, that will be helpful. Okay, so how did you decide on the course topics for the classroom? Well, we're going to do, in progression, um, we're going to start with an introductory, so to go through uh, the different tools that are used, um, how one would approach a machine learning problem. Um, so the introductory is first and spread throughout the week. And then another introductory piece we're calling data wrangling, um, which is really a piece that I think a lot of people don't understand is, is very, very critical to how you format the data, pre-process the data, how you look at the data to understand what your algorithm or your model may come out with in terms of the results. If you don't have a good understanding of the input, then the understanding of the output will be difficult. So that's data wrangling. That's the second piece. The third piece is um, a segmentation piece where we're segmenting out an organ. Um, and that's something that radiologists do every day. And we're going to show how machine learning model may be able to do that and assist in something that is a tedious process for the radiologist. And the last one is on GANs, which uh, stands for Generative Adversarial Networks. And this is a relatively new algorithmic technology, if you will, uh, that is very exciting. People are using it to see if they can reduce uh, radiation exposure, um, use it to augment the data set that people have by generating synthesized data sets and so on. So that's a more advanced course. Mm -hmm. um, we have three of each of the introductory courses, the intro, the data wrangling, and the segmentation piece, and then just two of the advanced. We will have the intro throughout the week. So if you're only here first or second part of the week, you'll be able to get at least the intro pieces. Okay, so if I'm going to be at the meeting and wanted to attend one of the classroom sessions, what kind of expertise is required? Well, we're trying to have minimal expertise. As I mentioned, programming, it's a predominantly Python, um, but we're using Colab and Jupyter Notebooks, which kind of step you through the programming piece and are using modules and libraries, so you don't have to necessarily be an expert. Uh, I know in my class, I'll be going through what are those Python lines and what do they really mean. Um, I, I really like for attendees to take out of this the concepts of how you do this and not focus as much on what is the exact syntax that you need from a computer programming standpoint. But what are the, what are the concepts? What are the gotchas that can happen when you do this technology? Um, what are the pluses and minuses? Okay. So are there any other key takeaways that you would want attendees to gain from you this? You know, I think this is important for radiologists and other folks who are involved in medical imaging to understand this new, uh, new approach to imaging and radiology and healthcare in general, um, I think you can get uh, different levels out of it depending on your background. So if you are a programmer, you're gonna get a lot out of it from that standpoint, I think, as well. But again, if you just wanna understand how are people doing this, what does it do, um, what I should worry about if I'm gonna buy a product from a vendor, by understanding how it works a little bit, you may have a better understanding of the questions to ask and how to evaluate uh, the literature, how to evaluate technologies, and doing it in a fun way, which is the hands-on piece, which I think for adult learners really makes the concept stick. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Andriel. You can find more news at rsna.org news.